Hey guys, what's up? It's Born Baller welcoming you back for day 20 of our Pokemon TCG Pocket Journey, completely free to play. So for this card today, I do have a bit of a unique story, nothing fantastic, but I actually have a sleeved card of Ho-Oh V, and this is a card that I have been using in a current deck that I actually have built. I just did a lot of research when we got some of the newer sets out to see what kind of the old cards I could revitalize, which ones had really unique abilities, and Ho-Oh-V is one of them. Um, I'll put them right here. There's not really, I don't want to go into a huge deck build or how I play it, but I think what's most memorable about it is this is probably the first deck I've taken to a local tournament in a while. Took it to a game shop on the day of the Pokemon World Championships 2024, and while it pretty much underperformed. Um, it was still an incredible time to play. Also get experience versus these, you know, high meta decks in real time. And I actually did get a lot of compliments because they people were just so excited to see something that wasn't completely meta and was at least performing well. Not winning games, but hey, it can take some price cards. So uh, just a really good memory overall. And uh, I'm glad that I did go ahead and look at it. And apparently there there is some stuff on the horizon and as of current that have bolstered the deck. So I'll take a look at it. But. In any case, what we are taking a look at today is Pokemon TCG Pocket. Get right on over here to this Mewtwo pack. And we're just going to start every every episode with it. All right. Go over here. Let's select this one. Slice it. Pidgey Giovanni. We haven't seen this one yet. So this is one that I kind of made this joke earlier on in the series about power up plus existing and <laughs> technically this is what that is it's just dedicated to a supporter so a little bit more cost to it but i mean hey if it's the difference between you getting a ko and not i mean good good card to have Ponyard, psyduck and gengar ex wow okay i was not expecting that pokemon's in the spot your opponent can't use any support that is evil <laughs> I mean, I guess that kind of fits Gengar EX, but... So, some pretty fantastic pulls from that. I am not going to complain. 250 cards collected. You've collected 250 cards. 250 is Ho-Oh's National Pokedex number. It will reveal itself before a pure-hearted trainer by shining its bright rainbow color. Cinema. Cinema. That was not planned. None of that was planned. That is... <laughs> I could not have planned that any... At oh my god. All right. It's fate. I mean, I'm being told to, to continue the legacy of ho -Oh before, you know, it eventually rotates in the, the standard format, but wow, what a what a way to uh, start off this episode. I think I may have opened up a Pikachu pack last episode, but there are cards from this I think I'm missing that I would like to see. Okay, I mean, Jolteon is good. That is on the rarer side, but none of the hits we were looking for, and it was a bunch of dupes, so... All fun and good. I mean, better than getting like all duplicates, right? I'm not getting over that ho -oh comment. Having that pop up, that is phenomenal. Go over here to the shop so that way we can go ahead get the daily stuff. Thank you very much, and get on over to Wonder Pick, which we have almost generated fully because there just wasn't anything I was particularly chasing out of some of these recent ones. Saw Dragonite up there, which was pretty cool. There's a lot from that one we actually happen to be missing. Koga, what do you do? Put Muck or Weezing in the active spot in your hand. Okay, so basically what that does is that just makes it so that it's an easy way of preserving a Pokemon that otherwise would have been KO'd. That's, that's pretty decent. That Charizard EX up one up there was kind of nice. Ooh, the Staryu EX one, or Staryu, Star Me EX. I uh, saw Staryu. It's also great. Oh my God, we have the freaking Dragonite here too. Holy cow, this is like a, the hardest day. I'm gonna have to take a second. Okay, I think I am gonna go with this one from Forget Me Not. Uh, the next best one that we really did have was this Charizard one, because it has a lot of cards that were missing and happens to have a actual Charizard uh, EX. Despite pulling it, I mean, not going to hurt to have more of those. 
But since we have been building more around a water deck and the only thing we are missing is Starmie EX, it would be nice to get. Also have the odds of getting two other cards that we have not pulled and Bruxish, I think we have a duplicate of now, but let's hope we get that Starmie EX. It's Bruxish. Ah, uh, fine enough, fine enough. Oh, I was pretty off from that. But thank you for getting me not. Appreciate that. We'll go over to our missions here. Complete all those. Again, just three missions is all you need to complete it. Good deal. Good oak. We're going to go over to battle mode now. Going to return to solo. And I believe it was the advanced battles where we stopped the other day. So we actually only have a couple of missions left for this intermediate level. I feel like we should go ahead and try and clear those out if we can. This one says win by turn 14, and I, I feel like that should be super possible. Um, let me see if there's any editing I can do for this fighting deck that we have. I don't know how much there is going to be, but we'll take a look. So what I did for the deck is I ended up removing me and Fu and me and Shao. It's honestly fine enough to have kept them, but I really think that we were just okay with what we were currently working with. And um, I also removed the Raticate and Rattata, and just basically replaced it with Farfetch'd. Uh, so we have Farfetch'd and Potion, I think, that took up two spots, and then we did end up putting in Cubone and Marowak EX. And again, I'm still not incredibly high on Marowak EX, but if there are any Pokemon in our current collection that is going to risk sweeping through our opponent, those are definitely going to be the ones we want. So. We can go second. If we see a far-fetched here, we might be in a great position. I do see him. Uh, probably would have been better to put in Hitmonchan, I just realized. Can you? Oh, you totally can reset. That is amazing. Thank you. And see, again, this is just a thing like... I really needed to change that because Hitmonchan's going to be able to run through a bunch of these Pokemon super early. No reason not to have them. Speaking of which... <laughs> Throw those haymakers, Hitmonchan. You better get ready. Warm yourself up, baby. Oh my god! Sending this deck out super early. Sandshrew, I will take. We'll probably prefer to have it over Cubone. We do soup Cubone there, so if we eventually get KO'd by something, we'll be fine. But I'm just going to go ahead and send in this jab. I think even if we see an evolution of Jigglypuff to Wigglytuff, I think this still KOs. That is not... Not a evolution on their side. Sabrina, I think I will just kind of keep here. I'll go ahead and attach the Hitmonchan. I considered Sand True, but I don't know when we're going to see Sand Slash. Um, yeah, there's nothing else here we really need to do, so... Jab it back up. Electric is a little scary just because he does have the opportunity to KO us within two turns, which is what he's going to do. Also might already have Electros, which would be doubly scary. Press his research, that could get him that evolution. Pokeball, that'll be a basic. Magneton. Okay, Magneton is still a very good Pokemon for them too. Let's not let's not get things twisted. Ah man, I really should have attached the Sand True, huh? That's tragic. Okay, I need to actually get this KO. Like, again, our mission, I think, is to KO with as many fighting types as possible. So, I mean, currently we're in a pretty good position. Um, I'm still going to just go through with this jab here. Sand Slash, once gets the energies, should just be able to KO anything here. And then actually, what I'd like to do... So our opponent has gotten a point, going to send in Sand Slash. And now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to Sabrina here. And the reason we're doing that is because anybody on our bench is able to KO this Electric at any point. Um, Cubone is fine. 
And because of weakness, Sand Slash with Slash will be able to take out Heliolisk or Magneton. Magneton is a little scary again just because of all the energy generation it gets, but can't be as uh, dangerous as threaten that KO, and it looks like they're just sending an electric. Unless they see Electros. Nope, don't think so. Good man's good deal. Gonna go ahead and just attach uh, energy because we can, and slash that for KO. Excellent job on our part. And that should be the missions that we needed to complete. Yeah, just win this battle by turn 14. That's what I thought. All right, and the last one we have is this Venusaur Executor one, which is also just win by turn 14. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, the only th problem is, is we don't really have a fire deck to kind of get us to sweep through this. Um, let's use our Toxic deck. See how we do there. I'm not sure if there's anything I could have added to it that we didn't already have. I don't remember getting another Ekans. Not a huge fan of going first as per usual, but I will allow it. Mm, this is a toughie. I think we will go up with this setup anyways. X speed is fine at this point. Another muck. <laughs> I really I want us to, to use muck here, huh? Ooh, far-fetched. Oh, I didn't even notice Grimer has a huge retreat associated with it either. That kind of sucks. Yeah, no, we're just gonna poison gas here. I might have already misplayed just because I did not realize that is super rough. Could force the red card here. I think I am going to red card. And I'm also going to Sabrina. Because the only thing they'll be able to put in to attack is Rattata. Or the only thing that they can attach to and attack is Rattata. And I am much more okay with Muck just taking a 20 damage here as opposed to taking uh, another 30. Not seeing the evolution, so that's really great. We don't see Raticate. Red card might have actually come in clutch. Potion, I don't think we need to use right now. We'll save that. Go ahead and just knock out with Venoshock. We're threatening a lot of damage here because they even see like Chansey coming up here. It was 120 HP. Normally is a incredibly hard Pokemon to get rid of, but it's actually like kind of a sitting duck here. What did this Parasite say? Does it do 80 damage? Okay, it does. That is pretty huge. Um, I really wish that we could see some of our other Pokemon here because that is at least threatening a KO on Muck here. I can use a potion to at least let it live one turn if the Parasect comes in. Although you would need to see something, yeah, pretty mi pretty mi miraculous for the chance to get out of the active spot here. Okay, Arbok being available here is awesome because he does have 100 HP. I think we are in an okay position. I just don't need to forget to use this potion here. Go ahead and do that. And I have to assume he's going to put in Parasite. He decides to put in Hero. Okay. Well, 
putting in execute. I think this AI is just saying it's over, bro. Just, <laughs> just do the deed. Knock me out, put me out of my misery. I mean, hey man, I'll, I'll do it. You're asking so kindly. Yeah, that could have been a much longer fought out battle, but it, it was almost exactly like the opponent conceded, which again, fine by us, because that was one turn early, or I think that was the turn to actually complete the mission. So we don't, we don't want to see you here anymore, man. Just get out of here. So a lot of these are really rough because they require you to beat the battle without letting your opponent get any points, which is a pretty heavy ask. There are just times where you have to sacrifice a Pokemon to stay in a game. Well, of the ones that we can do here, that's not really going to cost us much. And I mean, at least we're prepared enough for. We can use our fighting deck versus this Pikachu EX. Going second, okay. Do we open for a fetch? We do not, but we do see Sand Slash. Um, we'll just sort out the battle. I actually played in the right order to Pokeball and Depressive Research. We do not see our own Professor's Research. Unfortunate! Do get far-fetched here. No, we, we just, just attack here. So I think even... Well, no, if they... Get Heliolisk and do heads, then we die here. Oh, no, wait, he didn't have the energy. Okay, I forgot it's a two... Two energy attack. Mabi. I was about to cry in agony. Um, yeah, we're fine. So we should be able to beat this mission very quickly. The only problem I immediately see is we won't be getting the mission for, um dealing more than 100 damage, and that's because the only Pokemon we have that is capable of doing that is, um... Okay, I put it in the center of the Uh, the only Pokemon we have for that is Marowak. Marowak EX. Now, this might seem a little overdramatic, but I am going to go ahead and potion here. Um, my main concern is that Pikachu EX, if he were to have gotten, like, to be sent in and then fill in two spots on the bench, that does mean a KO for Sand Slash. And we have the Sabrina, which should theoretically KO anything that comes into play next turn. So again, we're going to be able to sweep up this battle pretty quickly. It is just a matter of being able to do more than 100 damage, which is not going to happen. Yep, what I expected. Promote the Pikachu EX here. This turn, they'll also be able to go for Circle Circuit. So that'll be 60 damage. And this is why Sabrina is so ridiculously good. In an end-of-game state like this, where all you need is one KO to wrap things up. Just force it on your opponent. I think there is an argument to say that you probably should run two Sabrina, but I've been pretty comfortable with running one for now, and of course that's mainly because we're just fighting versus AI opponents. But. So yep, we did end up getting that mission, however we are still missing the one for uh, KOAing for one, more than 100, yep. And of course, you know, we're, we're missing a couple of those. Well, actually, this one's the one with the psychic types, and then this one is one for 100 damage. Because it's uh, back again to, like, fighting types is what it recommends. I do believe that is everything for the day. 
So again, a bit more of a kind of more low-key episode since we weren't really doing any fantastic battles or anything like that, like fighting our hearts out, but you know, getting those missions done is still important. You get good stuff for it. And I mean, if you, I'm just accumulating all this and you're gonna see by the end of it, what you should have at the end of the 30 days. So especially important for me to get that out of the way, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed it. Um, Thank you guys for watching this series so far. I know that we are getting ever so closer to that 30 day mark and tomorrow will be another basically three weeks that we will have played the game. So I'll kind of give another ramble about what I kind of wish the game had or things that I kind of have grievances with, which should be shorter. There's not really much else I've noticed, but in any case, thank you guys so very much for watching again. Hopefully you're having a fantastic night or day wherever you may be, and I'll see you next time. See ya.